Hey guys, welcome to the JW and Talk True channel. So we already know that the Jehovah Witnesses have lost the grants of the Norwegian government. And we know that they've lost, let's have a look how much they lost, uh, $1.7 million US every year from the Norwegian government. But now we know something really interesting and really hot gossip is that they just didn't lose $1.7 million from the Norwegian government, but they also lost other grants. Well, you're not going to believe this unless we have proof, but we have proof. So let me show you. They also lost grants from the Norwegian Gambling and Foundation Authority. What, Jay? <laughs> what is this? What are you talking about? You know, Jehovah's Witnesses don't gamble. The governing body, the Watchtower, is completely against gambling. We have videos on the JW Broadcasting saying this. Let me display two short videos of this from the JW Broadcasting that they are completely against gambling. Let's play the videos and see. So the following video is from the JW Org website. It's called the Do Not Imitate These Loyal Ones. And let's play a short clip. Sweet. Yeah, it's fresh, ain't it? I can make calls, I can send texts, I can do anything, all from right here. Whoa, cool, but how'd you get the money? The last time I checked, you didn't have a job. There are other ways of making money, son. Like what? Like online betting. What? You serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I bet on sports teams. It's easy, it's instant money, but best of all, private. No one ever has to know. Here's the link. I wasn't even thinking about this stuff until I saw Julian's new watch. Just to insert here, two opinions of my own is that, first of all, I do agree gambling is bad in, but you know, you can sort of do some moderation gambling, uh, which is okay, be a bit fun. But also, um, I believe that the watchtower here is trying to tell the Jehovah Witnesses not to spend money in expensive gadgets. That way they will have more money to donate to the watchtower. That's my own opinion, but let's keep watching. Now it's all I think about. Let me check something first. Gambling? Gambling is a form of greed? Whoa. So here, the Watchtower is telling the Jehovah Witnesses it's a form of greed. Judas Iscariot? Started off good, gave in to greed, consumed him, betrayed Jesus. If I sign up for online gambling, what could happen? Yes. Flee from these things and pursue righteousness, God and devotion. If I sign up for this, I could lose a lot of money. Or worse yet, I could win and the love of money could easily consume me like it did Judas. I could fall right out of the truth. Judas could have sought help from others. I'm going to talk to my parents about this whole thing. So they are comparing here gambling to be like Judas Iscariot and going against Jesus and falling out of the organization. So, but wouldn't it be gambling the same as accepting money from gambling as well? Accepting funds from gambling? I would say 100% is the same so now we're going to see a short video of the governing body uh this is the 2022 governing body update number eight and listen to what uh, exciting news he has to say he has to tell us we have another exciting update regarding freedom of worship as jesus foretold at matthew 10 22 we face much opposition jesus said and you will be hated by all people 
on account of my name. So one thing he forgot to mention about this is that they are hated not on the account of Jesus' name or Jehovah's name, whatever name. And it's because of this shunning and the disfellowshipping uh, act that the Jehovah Witnesses do when they fellow brothers or sisters uh, leave the religion and they get shunned no matter what uh, reason they have. So this is against human rights or freedom of religion to choose your own religion. They do not say this here. So they are breaking the law in no way. So no way has taken the grants away and also the registration. But he forgets to mention this. To assist Jehovah's people, we have recently established the Freedom of Worship Office at the Central Europe branch. This headquarters department will coordinate our efforts to defend our worship in Europe. So they open a whole new branch in Europe just to defend their rights to this fellowship and to shun and to keep the registration. But why? Why is so important to have this uh, decision revoked? Well, because they are losing tons and tons of money from grants. So first of all, they've lost the Norway government grants, 1.7 million US dollars. But now we are going to see that they've lost a lot of money too from the foundation, the Gambling Foundation Authority. Let me show you this amazing news. Uh, let's just go through the website. So here's the Norwegian Gamb Gambling Foundation Authority. The Norwegian Gambling Authority supervise and control all private and state operated lotteries in Norway. We also supervise and control gambling and horse racing. Norwegian foundations are submitted to supervision and control by the Foundation Authority. The basic element in this work to secure that the foundation are loyal to their purposes. The Norwegian Gambling and Foundation Authority administers several major grant schemes to the voluntary sector. So now, if we go to the grant schemes, It says, our grant schemes, the Norwegian Gambling and Foundation Authority administers several major grant schemes. The VAT, the VAT, Compensation for Non-Profit Organization. So this is where the Jehovah Witnesses qualifies for these schemes, for these grants. Who can apply for VAT compensations? It is a requirement that you are a non-profit organization in which voluntary work accounts for an important part of the organization's activities. And according to the Jehovah Witnesses, everything that they do, which is all the propaganda to convert other people into a Jehovah Witnesses, is qualified a charity. But they don't do any other kind of charities. They don't help the poor. They don't help the, um, the hungry. They don't help... They don't help uh, the homeless people. They don't help anyone else apart from their own, unless it's to convert someone into a Jehovah Witnesses. That is the charity work. Um, in addition, the organization must be registered. It's, this is the main point. The organization must be registered in the registry of the nonprofit organization by the deadline for applications, September the 1st and meet the other criteria in the regulations. So if they are, if the Norway takes the registration as a charity, they are losing these grants as well from the gambling association. But you may ask, how do you know, Jay, that they actually have applied or they actually receiving any money from the uh, Gambling Authority Foundation? Well, there is a way to prove this. So if we go to the Summary Vat Compensation 2022 website, we can see and we can find out all the organizations that they receive their grants. So here we have got the website, the Summary Vat Compensation, and let's search for Jehovah Witnesses and you'll be surprised what we find. So let's do the search for Jehovah Witnesses and voila! Look how many we have. Look at this. This is incredible. This is just unbelievable. There are 17 pages 
of grants to the Jehovah Witnesses in total of 161 organizations of Jehovah Witnesses, uh, which is uh, every single congregation in Norway receive grants. The main headquarters receive a 996,000 uh, Norwegian dollars. That is unbelievable. And this is the second page. It just keeps going. Jehovah Witnesses, congregations, is uh, third, fourth page, fifth page, and this is the sixth page. And these are all grants, depending how many, uh, how many uh, Jehovah Witnesses are in the congregation. This is how much they get in grants. So let's download the the table, the Excel uh, spreadsheet. And let's have a look how much they get in total from the uh, Gambling Foundation Authority. So let me bring this um, the uh, spreadsheet from Excel. So here we have all the Jehovah Witnesses organizations, every single one of them. And we've got the amount that they have been given on the uh, I column, a allocated amount. Let's highlight it so we can make sure that we don't get confused. <laughs> Uh, let's put some, let's put some red color and black background. Let's make that a bit bigger as well. And let's go down to all the way down to the bottom and let's have a look how much money they got. <laughs> oh, oh my God, it's unbelievable. Let's have a look. What is the total here? We have, ladies and gentlemen, let's make this a bit bigger so it's clear for everyone. A total of 4,185,549 Norwegian dollars. And how much is that in US dollars, you may ask. Let's have a look how much is that in the US dollars. Let's go to the XE uh, currency money transfer website. Let's how much money does the Washtava get from the gambling authority foundation so let's change the currencies there and let's put how much is four million norwegian dollars and ladies and gentlemen we have four hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred fifty-eight us dollars wow every year the government the watchtower and the jehovah witnesses are losing this money as well and it's not just about the money, it's about where it's coming from. It's from people betting, gambling their money. So the Watchtower and the Jehovah Witnesses are not okay about gambling, but they are more than welcome to receive the grants from gambling. So, and having Jehovah's name on this table, on the gambling website, Jehovah's Witnesses, is that glorifying God's name? Is that the right place for God's name Jehovah to be in? So people can see that Jehovah God is getting money from gambling, from Satan's system, from a Satan's organization. Again, the Washtawa, the governing body, the Jehovah Witnesses, you are so hypocritical, so stupid if you don't recognize this evidence i mean what does it take for a jehovah witness to say enough is enough you got the kingdom hall cells and being converted to any kind of disgusting and imaginable thing and now we can see that the Washtawa and the governing body are receiving grants from the gambling foundation authority and if that is not enough i don't know what is enough for you guys so anyway thank you so much for watching and we'll see what we can find for the next video